hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hello welcome so in today's video we have created this soft glam look it's just been a while since i've done a really like soft glam especially over on youtube i think i've only really done one dedicated soft glam which was right at the beginning when we started if that makes sense i've also used a palette that you wouldn't necessarily always think to use and create a soft glam out of it so yeah that is what we're doing in today's video this is the look i'm obsessed with it i've tried to step out of my usual products that i usually use and yeah i'm obsessed so if you want to see how i got this soft glam look then like this video subscribe and please keep on watching Mwah. <laughs> So, ultimate soft glam today. I haven't done one of these in a while and everyone loves a soft glam. So, I'm just going in with my Walida just to moisture my skin up. I'm literally running out so much of this. But my skin is so dry. So, literally covering my face in this. I'm going to try and use products that I don't normally use. I've got a palette which... I've used before on my channel, but I haven't used it since, and ignore the hair situation. It needs a bit more use, do you know what I mean? For brows, I'm going in with my Revolution Soap Styler, as always. So this is the palette we're going to be using. It's the Made by Mitchell. But obviously, this is a colourful palette, but we're going to do a soft glam look out of it so it just shows you the all like colourful palettes like don't be scared of them they oh my god I've got cream soap everything in my hair it's going off to a great start brilliant absolutely brilliant yeah so it's just showing you that colourful palettes like most of the time you can get a neutrals soft glam look out of them and like i loved this palette the first time i used it so brows are done for the first time i think on my channel i'm not gonna go in with the p louise base for eye primer i'm gonna go in with my nars soft matte so this is the only other thing that i would you can obviously always use concealer on your eyes but this one is like quite a thick consistency like it's a good one to use as an eye primer if you're not going in with the p louise base so just with my molly cosmetics mc17 i'm carving out my brows and then covering my lids this is obviously one way to save on getting like not having to get another product for your makeup if you just want to use the same concealer it's just like that really nice and simple you don't need a lot just carving out my brows Exactly the same as what we do with the P. Louise, but just with concealer. The only difference with concealer is that I will now set this down. P. Louise base, you don't have to, but I will just go over this with powder. So with my Charlotte Tilbury, I'm just going to pat this over the lids. That way there's no creasing and we've got a complete blank canvas like so right so this is obviously the palette it's the made by mitchell feet on the ground pressed pigment palette so this to look at obviously is a lot more like got greens and got some color pops of color in it but there is some good neutrals in there so one thing like my top tip with like soft glam looks is i normally put the same bronzer i'm gonna put on my face on my eyes so in this case i'm gonna go in with my mac give me some just a little bit just to obviously make it blend more when we're going into the like base makeup because then it's more soft it's not as harsh it all sort of ties in together so just on a blending brush i'm picking up mac give me sun and i'm using this as like my transition shade so i'm just gonna run this through my crease I love MAC Give Me Sun on the eyes as well. Sometimes I do just put MAC Give Me Sun on my eyes if I'm doing like an everyday sort of natural makeup look. And I'm obviously bring this out to my temples like so. So it just gives a nice little bit of colour, bit of warmth to the eye. Just like working as a transition. 
Okay, so now I'm happy with that. We're gonna now go on to using the palette. So again, another Molly Cosmetics brush. This is an MC10. I'm gonna pick up Ground, which is this shade here. And I'm pretty much gonna do the same as what I have just done with the MAC Give Me Sun, just to add a bit more depth, but it's pretty much the same shade. So just focusing it on the outer corner first and then buffing it into my crease. Add a little bit more depth to this eye. I feel like you just can't go wrong with a soft glam look. And like these are the perfect looks to start off with if you're like learning once you perfect a soft glam you can then like use these techniques to add to color but like soft glams just don't go as wrong and they're easy to like correct obviously color is a little bit harder but these shadows are unreal they just blend nice and easy but if you haven't i believe i used it in my full face of influencer uh, makeup video i will link it below so you can see like my full review of this palette but obviously i've kept it i'm like using it again i must like it do you know what i mean obviously with soft glams as well like it's just the softer the better more blown out don't want no harsh la lines everything wants to be blended seamlessly that is how you're gonna get soft glam like perfection then on my dull beauty db13 i'm gonna go in with off roading which is this shade here so it's like the deepest brown in the palette it looks like it's gonna have like a bit of a ready undertone to it but i'm not going in with loads of this color i'm literally just focusing on the outer corner of my eye just to again deepen this up I am bringing it through the crease, but just not like as much as before. I'm just keeping it nice and... We want to like, ex what's the word? Like wing out and accentuate. Is that the right word? I could be wrong. <laughs> Ignore me if that is the word wrong, but I think that's the right word. You're right. Or it might even be the wrong meaning of what I'm trying to say. But yeah, we're just deep in the outer corner up. We're going to keep the front bit quite light. Again, like add into that soft glam achievement so really lightly i'm literally not going in with no pressure but just deepening out that outer corner and of course blending it out buffing it out and it sort of just all merges together which is what we want right so now i'm happy with that blend and then shadows all placed i'm gonna go back in with my concealer brush and a tiny bit of my concealer and i'm gonna use this to cut my crease we're gonna start from that inner corner and i'm just patting this on just in the place of like a half cut crease but again we're not doing a full blown cut crease because it is meant to be more soft and just nice and light and not like too precise and then with just gonna go in with a short shader brush. I'm gonna combine Salt Bay, which is very, very, it's like a white, whitey cream, but it, that's really bright. And I'm gonna mix it with Breaking, which is here, just to try and get that like in between color. But this is gonna like really brighten the eye. I'm just placing that where I put that concealer, like so, just so it opens up my eyes and this is gonna create a nice bright eye so i'll just place it down at first like so and then i'm gonna go in with that last brush that we used for the darkest shade and i'm gonna run over that line just to blend it in because obviously we don't want to just like we don't want the white just to sort of stop there it's got to blend into that shade love that so going just backwards and forwards between the two brushes create that soft line done in and then i'm going to take that first brush and just go over the edges nice cute this will look so much better when the base is done because you'll really be able to see the effect of having like a brighter 
cup crease and that's like gonna open your eyes and we are gonna keep this all matte today i am gonna add a wing because i feel like soft glam for me it can't be without a wing so i'm going with my benefit roller liner and i'm starting at the outer corner and i'm just dragging it up i'm gonna go cut oh, i'm gonna go quite big with the wing and then just drag it down to make that triangle and then anything underneath like we can tidy up and stuff but boom that's really as well gonna do the same effect as like with the focusing on the outer part of the eye it's really gonna wing out and that word to your face whatever that word is that i don't know so eyes are done both of the wings done i've just cleaned it up so now you can see it's nice and sharp and looks mwah. i'm gonna go in with some lashes so i'm going in with the tatty lashes these are the TL21, so as you can see, they go thicker on the end, which again is going to add to this nice, soft, winged out look. So yeah, I'm going to go put these on and then I'll be back. Right, okay, so eyes are done. I am obsessed with this look. I literally love it. So now we're going to go onto our skin. I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Obviously, this... I have moisturised, but I'm just going to go in with this as well, just for an extra bit of grip so that the makeup sticks to my face, it lasts long and just smooths my whole face out. I love it. Pressing that all in, like, bit of ASMR for you, because that's like what you want your face to be feeling like before you go in with your foundation. Today I'm gonna go a little bit different. I'm Like I said, I'm trying to use products that I don't necessarily normally always use. So I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Can I speak? Flawless Foundation in 7.5 Neutral. And I'm just gonna distribute this on my face. And this is my Zoeva Silk Finish brush and i'm just gonna pat this into my skin right okay so my foundation is all applied i'm just gonna go over it with my sponge i feel like this foundation is like charlotte tilbury foundation i said this when i done the review i just find that their coloring's a little bit weird like this is 7.5 neutral but i feel like it's really like yellowy but i love the foundation that's why i'm like want to use it but we can make it work just making sure everything is pressed to the skin so for the concealer i'm going to go in with my Too faced born this way concealer and this is in the shade almond so with my concealer i'm just gonna focus it right in that inner corner and down the side of my nose i'm not going to go in with as much concealer i don't go in with as much concealer anymore and then I'm just going to go here, just along where that wing is. Obviously, we don't want to be messing up, so we've got to be very careful. But again, that's just going to bring and lift your face up. A little bit on the chin and on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose, like that. And then, of course, we're going to buff this out. So, patting this into the skin. I'm lift like I'm dragging to the side once I've patted this on. Again, that's gonna help lift up my face. And then yeah, I'm just patting this down. Basically, you don't really want to move from where you have placed that product. Obviously, we are going a little bit to the side, but we're focusing it nice and up high, close to that lash line. We don't want to bring it down here. It's not triangles anymore, guys. <laughs> It's changed again and then obviously here just being very gentle dragging it up and then I will push it in and then that's just gonna lift your face same on the other side and then I'm gonna go in with the same concealer but I'm going in with pearl and I'm just gonna put a dot on either side right where like under right bags are where they're going to be the black like, most dark and again just pressing that in just to really brighten as you can see but just really focusing it 
in the inner corner like so so i'm gonna go in with my iconic sheer blush for cream contour i haven't used this in a while so i'm just gonna oh that was a lot we can spread that about oh i'm getting it everywhere I've got so many flyaways with my hair so i'm just placing this where i normally place my contour so on my jawline on my cheeks forehead down my nose i'm just and then i'm going to place a little bit here That's where you want to start your forehead contour, just by the temples, because obviously that is going to bring everything together. I'm just adding a little bit down my eyes. And then on my angled brush, I'm just going to pat this contour out. These uh, cream blushes or cream bronzers are actually really nice for when you are doing a soft glam look. Because they're so, so sheer, it's all just melt into the skin and it adds to that like softness for this makeup. And they blend like a dream. They blend so easily. Open up my nose and then sort this forehead out because I've got way too much. But with this cream contour, it's actually not too bad if you go in with too much because it's nice and sheer. It does just blend into the skin and it's not like difficult to blend out because it's so nice and sheer. Just obviously being careful of my hair, although I feel like it's too late for that literally got it everywhere so very nice added warmth to the skin still nice and soft though obviously that's all blended i'm gonna quickly go back in with my beauty blender and obviously just make sure that everything is pushed into the skin nicely cream blush i'm gonna go in with my glowgasm beauty light wand in pure pink gasm this is unreal like this is literally my fave cream blush at the minute and don't like feel like you can't go crazy with it so obviously i've just added that to all my high points of my face and then i'm gonna buff it out obviously just by pressing it into the skin so you want to focus it on your apples of your cheeks but you are obviously bringing it all the way up to really help with that contour i mean it is pigmented to say the least this is so pigmented but it blends so nicely that like doesn't really matter and <laughs> every time i do my blush now it reminds me of the tiktok gorgeous gorgeous girls <laughs> where lots of lots of blush <laughs> or whatever it is i do need to do that tiktok to be fair it is on the list today really getting into the tiktok at the moment well trying to god it's just do you know what with tiktok and i get why people go viral with it one the algorithm obviously is a little bit better but it's so quickly changing like a trend comes out unless you do that like that day like instantly next day there's like another trend coming like there's so many you really have to be on the ball with it i'm trying but i'm a bit behind so for powder i haven't used this one in a while i'm going in with my jordana tisha so now all our cream products are down we're gonna set our face but i'm just literally again going over my under eye just to make sure there is no creasing and then i'm picking up that jordana tisha and i'm gonna press this in first so you want to press it in leaving a little bit of a bake but like you want to press first and then leave your bake that way obviously you're setting and then your baking is like what comes afterwards just to really add to that like contour and that nice bright under eye well not necessarily bright anymore but just like a smooth under eye doing my nose contour as well skinny that nose and then pushing that product into the skin to set the rest of the face right and then at this point we're going back in with that bronzer that we first used so for me it was mac give me sun and i'm just going to add warmth to my skin i'm using my molly o'brien daz mo 16 brush and i'll just start in on my cheeks and just warming up the skin and then obviously again starting your bronzer from your temples onto your forehead blend it into your eye look so again it's all nice and seamless 
the best thing to do and i know i say it all the time when with like makeup and stuff but just take your time like obviously it's different for everyone i feel like because like makeup is like my happy place it's like a bit of therapy for me just sitting here like i enjoy doing it so i like to just take my time making sure that it all looks nice and like seamless soft blended all of the above obviously i get sometimes i am rushing and i'm just like patting it on doing whatever i've got to do to just get it done quickly but if you can take your time with it and you will get the best outcome with your makeup especially at first obviously with time i've got so quick now doing it so it yeah you do get quicker but definitely at first just take your time with it so i'm going back in with that powder and i'm doing my baking underneath just really having a mess today with the hair situation it's all a bit over the place i don't really quickly and that's why all right i'm just creating that bake and then while that is baking we're gonna do our brows so obviously we've already gone in with the soap styler for brows like with soft glam the best thing i would use is a pencil to get that most soft brow look anything else you're gonna get like start to get that thick and more blocky brows so i'm just brushing through them to make sure that they're all in place and i'm going with my morphe brow pencil of course and i'm just drawing that line underneath my brow just to get the sort of shape where i want to go so any like gaps or if you want to make it a bit thicker this is when to do it and then i literally just do hair strokes through the brows just obviously in the direction that they are all going and then that's sort of pushing them into place as well with that soap styler and then through the front same thing again just like a really light hand just doing hair strokes we don't want to have no blockiness going on no i'm sorry what is wrong with royal mal they just knocked on the door went down there literally as soon as and she'd already put the red thing through the door to say like it was going back to my local office but the door I was like hello she was literally at the next door that's how quick it, like she left honestly i've been fuming so brows that's the first one done i do need to just tidy up underneath have slipped a little bit so yeah you just literally want to do hair strokes same with the front of the brow just brush them up but then i always do go back in with the spoolie bit just to again make sure there is no lines or blockiness so right i need to get this bake off because it's been on forever with the same brush i use all the time i'm just going in with my dull beauty brush and i'm just gonna wipe this bake away but that's when you know this is such a good powder because I'm literally not like dry or anything underneath and it's been sitting there for ages because I kept getting interrupted. And then I'm going to go back in with what brush do I use for bronzer? So going in with my bronze brush, no additional product but we're just going to go over any of them lines. I've not even gone in with a uh, powder blush yet and look how you can still see that blush coming through i thought i'd put blush on because it was literally like, i'm really pink but i haven't then of course with the ava brush i'm just gonna add a little bit of nose contour just running it down the side of my nose obviously this is another reason why it's good to go with that bronzer because if you put the same bronzer down your nose you can then put it up into your eye but where you've put it on your eyes already it blends nicely then for blush i'm gonna try this new one from doll beauty it's let's get wavy blush like look at that it looks very very bright and pigmented so i'm gonna be careful with it because i'm quite pigmented already but i'm just gonna add a little bit of powder blush wow that is like that matches that charlotte tilbury well nicely well nicely what words did they but it is pigmented but I mean, gorgeous gorgeous girls love loads and loads of blush, so it don't really matter, does it? So, nice. Then, of course, we're going to spray my face, which I feel like is needed because I have sat with that powder on for so long. Although it's not gone dry, I just feel like we need to add a bit of life. So, I'm going in with a Morphe setting spray. I'm drowning my face in this, as always. While that 
just sinks in just make sure all nice and then for highlighter i'm going with my revolution pro goddess glow shimmer brick in afterglow so it looks like this and i just really lightly just going over the high points of my face and then with a smaller brush i'm gonna go I'm gonna go in with the highlighter but for my nose contour obviously we're going in with a nice small one and i'm going down the bridge of my nose and on the tip just to lift it so that's a shimmer brick it's like i only got in with one of the colors so i need to just blend that a little bit stunning right now let's go on to underneath of our eyes so i want to keep this nice and tight to my lash line so basically i'm going in with smaller brushes so that it stays nice and close so on my molly cosmetics mc22 brush which is a tiny little shader i'm going in with that darkest shade off road in and i'm gonna keep this so close to the lash line but just run it across there and then with a nice fluffy uh, but small brush so in this case i'm going in with my peaches pc47 brush i'm gonna go in with the map give me some and again just running this really close to my lash line but buffing out this dark shade matching it to obviously the top of the eye so you want to be lifting it up Keep it nice and soft. I'm gonna add a brown in the water liner. So this is the tattoo liner. And I'm just gonna add this to my water line. Lovely. And then a little bit of bottom lash mascara, just with the sky high. But just a little bit, I don't like too much mascara. Right, and then for lips, shock horror, I'm going in with a Morphe lip liner. This is in the shade Bite Me Though. It's a little bit darker than Sweet Tea, like that. Cess lipstick, and always this is running low. Love that, and then I'm going to go in with my lip dew from Eve. And then I'm going to spray my face one last time, just with, again, the Morphe. Not as much this time, just a little spritz. And then Charlotte Tilbury, just to put a bit of this under my eyes just to brighten them making 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 sure everything is flawless makes such a difference like i'm actually not lying when i say it if you've not tried it yet then you need to and i'm loving the blush situation today i look very rosy but i love it but yeah this is the ultimate soft glam look i literally am obsessed i'm obsessed with everything these eyes i just feel like just is doing something for me you can't go wrong with a soft glam look these eyes are stunning like i love this palette i loved it when i first tried it and like now that i can do a soft glam out of it i love it even more so i'm just gonna go take my hair out sort it out because i think i've got half the makeup in my hair sort my hair out and then we will be Right, okay, this is the finished look. I literally am obsessive here. Like I said at the beginning, I just feel like you can't go wrong with a soft glam look. I I love it. I literally love it. I love all the products I use. Actually, some of them, okay, I have used quite a bit, but I did feel like today I changed it up a little bit, used some other products that I haven't used in a while. Obviously, we used a new blush, which I'm obsessed with. That is the blush I'm going to be using when I'm going to be doing gorgeous gorgeous girls because pff, it's amazing and yeah this is the look i hope you enjoyed hope you uh liked the look of another soft glam look and especially a soft glam look coming from a palette that you would just associate really with like a lot of color when you do have colorful palettes look out for the softer browns and stuff and you can actually get really nice eye looks out of them i love the brightening of the eye to really open it i just i love it i absolutely love it so yeah this is the finished look i hope you all enjoyed if you did and you're still here please give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment down below if there's anything else that you want me to do any other looks any other products let me know because i'm constantly planning videos and i need your help obviously i want to know what you want me to do so yeah make sure you do all that 
thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys Mwah.